Quiz. Unit 2 Quiz 1 review, going over it. Um, please pay attention because some of the answers on the answer key in the packet are actually wrong. I don't know how that happened, but they are wrong. So let's look at this. Step 1, simplify each sum. Let's do that for both of these first. This is an addition problem. We are not going to multiply. We're not going to FOIL. We're just going to add like terms. So 5k cubed plus 3k cubed. You just add the 5 and the 3, 8k cubed. Negative 3k to the 4th power minus 2k to the 4th power. So that's just negative 3 plus negative 2, which is negative 5k to the 4th power. Don't change the exponents. Exponents only change when you're multiplying, not when you're adding. Okay? Next, let's look at number 2. Again, we're just adding like terms. So 2n plus 7n is 9n. Not 9n squared, it's just 9n. Negative 2n squared plus 5n squared is... Sorry, negative 2n squared plus 5n squared is 3n squared. Negative 4n cubed plus 7n cubed is 3n cubed. Okay, so we have simplified it, but that doesn't mean we're done. This is the simplification step. First, now we, now we need to write both of these answers in standard form. That's where the exponents go from biggest to smallest. So this is the biggest exponent right here. So it should come first. So let's do that step. Negative 5k to the fourth plus 8k cubed. All right. So I'm going to quit circling my answer because we got a lot more to do with this. And so we're going to put it in standard form again, which means we're going to put the biggest exponent first. So that needs to be 3n cubed plus 3n squared plus 9n. All right. So now... We've done the standard form. We've simplified the sum. We've done the standard form. Now we've got to classify or name your answer by degree and number of terms. This is on page one through three in your packet. You need to study this or you will not do well on the quiz. So if you look at the degree, the degree is the largest exponent, which is four. And the number of terms is one, two. There are two terms there, okay? which means if the degree is four, if you look on pages one through three right here, you know that means it's a quartic binomial. All right, so make sure you study those terms before your quiz tomorrow, okay? Next, let's look at the degree here. The degree is the biggest exponent, which is three. And there are three terms. So that's a cubic trinomial okay so and now we're actually done so this is what I need to circle I shouldn't have circled the um, top part here to begin with this is the correct answer technically this is part of the answer though um, because you, it's part of how you uh, work to get it all right let's move on so that was the sum. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to simplify the difference. All we're going to do is, is though we're going to change the signs and make it a sum. So it says difference right here. Well, we're going to change it to an addition statement. Excuse me. I don't know if this new pen will erase very well. There we go. 7 minus 4m squared plus negative 4m squared plus 1. Okay, so we're going to combine now. And I'm going to combine the biggest exponent first so I don't have to rewrite it later. That's negative 8m squared. And this is going to be plus 8. All right, so it's in standard form already because I wrote the biggest exponent first. And then I'm going to classify degree, biggest exponent, 2. Terms, there are two of them, 2. So it's a quadratic binomial. Oh, I don't know why this thing is making random marks. Hmm. Okay. All right, so let's do the next one. Again, we're going to take this negative 
Turn it to positive. Turn that frown upside down. 4x to the 4th power plus 6x cubed plus x plus negative 3x to the 4th plus 7x minus 7x cubed. Okay, so now we're going to combine 4x to the 4th power first. That's just 1x to the 4th power. 6x cubed. That's negative 1x cubed. 1x with 7x. That's 8x. All right, so the degree is 4. The terms are 3. And that's going to be a quartic trinomial. Guys, if these terms go over 3, you just call it a polynomial. So if the terms went over 3, you call it a polynomial. If the degree goes over 5, because 5 is quintic, um, you just call it like 6th degree, 7th degree, 8th degree. That's the name. So that's something to remember as well. All right, moving on. Find each product. So now we get to multiply. Product means multiply, and you can tell because the parentheses are touching. So first, 6 times 8 is 48. B squared. Outer, negative 1 times 6B is negative 6B. Inner, make sure you multiply all of them, plus 8B. And last, this is the one people forget to multiply. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Combine these two, and you're done. Get 2B. Okay. Nice. So let's work on this one. This one can be done. I like to, oops. I like to do the distributive property of this one, not necessarily FOIL. You can only FOIL something with two terms because a 2 by 2, obviously 2 times 2 is 4, and FOIL is 1, 2, 3, 4 operations. So you can't FOIL this. Just do the distributive property. You're still multiplying, though. 8 times 6 is 48. V cubed. Remember, that's a 1V. That's a V here. And two Vs here make three Vs here. Okay? And then 8V times 3V is 24V squared. Then 8V times 3 is 24. V. Okay? So uh, since I'm running out of room... This next one right here, oh, I kind of, well, the answer is there. That's fine. <laughs> um, this next one I'm going to do um, like this, okay? With the 7, I'm going to multiply on the bottom. Same thing. I'm going to do the same exact thing, except for I'm going to put it in sort of order. So 7 times 6 is going to give me 42V squared. Notice how I just put those like terms right there. That, it just makes it easier. Then 7 times 3V is 21V. And then 7 times 3 is 21. So now all my like terms are like wonderfully, beautifully set up. Perfect. 48V cubed. 24 plus 42 is 66V squared. 24 plus 21 is 45V. Plus 21. Obviously, you can already see the answer, but... What's more important here is how to do it, not exactly what your answer is. All right, guys, so let's move on to the next one. We're going to use long division to divide. Okay, so here we put our, and most of y'all, um, all of y'all should have done this, but if you still struggle, please pay attention. X plus 9, and then X squared plus X minus 68. So now we're going to start off with... Um, all right, I'm only going to do this all in one color, so try to follow along. So round one starts with dividing x squared and x. x squared divided by x is x. That's my answer. It goes on top. Now, I'm, I like to just show the rainbow multiplication, just boom, boom, like that. I'm not going to do it off to the side because, honestly, you don't need to. So x times x is x squared x times 9 is 9x. I just put it underneath the like terms, and that's where it should go, all right? Then I got to switch the sign. I will change colors for that, okay? 
So once you switch the sign, then we can move forward. These two will always cancel, they better, and 1x minus 9x is negative 8x. So the biggest things I'm seeing here is people are forgetting to change signs. And you're forgetting that a 1x is a 1. And some people just treat that like a 0x and don't even don't even respect it. It's there. It's a 1x. So please respect the 1x. Now we're moving on to round 2. As you notice with round 1, we started here with the x squared. Now we're just going to move here to the negative 8x. And we're still going to divide by this. We're always dividing by this out here. This guy is the main guy. We're dividing by x right here. Okay? So negative 8x divided by x is negative 8. So that's my answer. It goes on top. I'm going to do my rainbow multiplication. Negative 8 times x is negative 8x. Negative 8 times 9 is negative 72. And I've got to change both of those signs. These are going to cancel as usual. And negative 68 plus 72 is 4. Okay? So my answer is x plus 9 plus... I'm going to do plus because this is plus. 4 over x plus 9. And some of y'all are probably thinking, oh, I really like synthetic division. Can I just do synthetic division? The answer is no. You have to do long division on at least two problems on the quiz, okay? Next, we're going to do b plus 5 into b cubed plus 3b squared minus 6b plus 11. Okay, so round one, we're going to start off with b cubed into b, or actually b into b cubed, which is b squared. You cancel a b. b squared goes on top. Do your rainbow multiplication. b squared times b is b cubed. b squared times 5 is 5b. Okay, so change the signs. Boop, boop. Okay, and then you're going to do b cubed minus b cubed is canceling, always, always, always. Then you get 3b squared minus 5b is b squared, sorry. 5b squared is um, negative 2b squared. Bring down the minus 6b. Okay, so now we're starting over again. Again, we did this divided by this. We're now going to do this divided by this, always going back to this original b right here. Okay. So negative 2b squared over b is negative 2b. So negative 2b goes here. Do my rainbow multiplication. Negative 2b times b is negative 2b squared. Before you change the signs, the, that negative two, these two things in, in front should match. Sorry, I don't have a pointer. These two things in front should be exactly the same before you change the sign. Always. And then negative 2b times 5 is negative 10b. Okay, now I can change the signs. So now they're opposites and they're going to cancel. Okay, so now they cancel. All right, so you end up with nothing there. Negative 6b plus 10b is 4b. And then bring down the plus 11. All right, last one. We're going down here now. And then we're still dividing by the b up here. Okay, so okay, all these arrows are bothering me. You do, 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 do. Okay, only need two arrows. You're dividing this by this. <laughs> okay, so 4b over b is 4. And that's my answer that goes up here, positive 4. Do my rainbow multiplication. 4 times b is 4b. 4 times 5 is 20. And I change the signs. Cambiar los signos. Okay, so... Then that cancels, and 11 minus 20 is negative 9. So your final answer is b squared minus 2b plus 4 minus 9 over b plus 5. <sighs> All right, yes. Okie dokie. So hopefully that helps. Let's do the last one, synthetic division. So this is pretty, this is very easy. If you did your delta math, you should be pretty stoked about this being on the quiz. Um, I'd like to put a box right here uh, and then a line. There's multiple ways to do it, but you just need a box 
or a space off to the side and a line and you take these coefficients. Don't forget the negative signs. That's the biggest one people are forgetting is this negative sign right here on the 51. All right, so you remember the, the process is you're gonna add down. See, that's a plus sign. And then you're gonna multiply across. See, that's a time sign. And the time sign goes diagonal, the add sign goes down. Um, so that's, the, that's the, uh, the process. So I'm gonna go now, change colors for dramatic effect. Um, I'm gonna add down, and there's nothing to add to the seven, so it goes all the way down into my answer. Okay, this is my answer row. You gotta drop this seven all the way down into your answer row, or whatever is starting out right here is. Now when I go across, oh, I've gotta figure out what goes in my box right here. And that is this, but always switch the sign. So it's positive six. So whatever here is here, you have to switch the sign. All right, so seven times six is, hmm, that's one I struggle with, 42. Okay, and then I'm going to add these two. These two are going straight down, so we're adding down. So add negative 51 plus 42 which is negative nine. And then I'm gonna go across, which means I'm gonna multiply negative nine times six, which is negative 54. And I know they're not in a column, they're not going down right now, but yeah, you're adding down. Um, my mind's just a little crooked, so negative four. And then your answer is seven, I was about to put X, my bad, seven N, Minus 9. If you put X on the quiz, it's all good. Minus 4 over N minus 6. All right. Here, you don't use the switched version. You use the regular version. Regular. Because remember, we switched it. You don't want to switch it. Use the same thing as you see up there. Oh. Can't mess up the circle. Okay. Last one. And I hope this helps, guys. I'm really sorry I'm not there today. Um, oh, I'm doing long division. See, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Make sure that you're uh, doing synthetic division when it says synthetic division. Okay, synthetic division right here. All right, so bring the numbers down to 13, negative 2, 38. You need a line. You need a space. And you need a box or some place to put your number that you're multiplying by. All right, this is my answer. Okay. Oh, one thing that I forgot to mention that um um that uh, I'm so sorry. Um, for for the answer, see how the seven n, it's seven n to the uh, first power. Okay. Just a reminder, if it starts off as a squared, which that is n squared you have to change this one to N1. So as everything is gonna drop one degree. So for example, the seven N squared, um, seven N squared drop to a seven N one, the 51 N drop to a no N here. And then of course, this is your remainder, all right? Just always remember the last number is your remainder. That's why it goes on top here. Okay, we all should remember that, but just in case, I just wanted to be thorough. Um, okay, so next, let's go over the last one. We're gonna drop the two, all right, because there's nothing to add. Multiply across, but we need to find out what's in our box. In our box, we have the opposite of this, so switch, and that's gonna be negative seven, negative seven. Can't really see that negative seven there we go um so we're going to multiply across two times negative seven is negative 14 add down negative one multiply across negative one times negative seven is positive seven add down it's five five times negative seven is negative 35 add down three now guys these numbers are relatively small if you end up with 278 you need to go back and check your work okay uh, <laughs> the numbers should be pretty small and then again, to write your answer, we've got to drop our degree. So if our degree started off as 3 right here, it needs to be 2. So 2n squared. 
okay, or x, sorry. And then our degree was squ squared right there. It's going to drop to a degree of 1, minus 1x1. One and then our degree was 1 right here. It's going to drop to none. So it's just going to be plus 5, no x at all. And this is my remainder, so plus 3 over x, x plus 7. And that's it, guys. Hope this helps. I'll get this uploaded so you can check your work with it shortly. Have a good day.